everybody, it's Lira from Lira Gaming, and it is Tuesday, September the 28th, and that means it's time for another Outriders Unexpected Patch Tuesday. Um, so right up in advance, guys, want to apologize. I'm under the weather. My voice is going. I'm going to try and get through this quickly. Do want to get this information out to you. This patch is all about Devastator Impale fixes. Also, Trickster is going to have some fixes and some other bugs and changes. This is probably the smallest, longest cooking patch I have ever seen. But here we go. We're finally here. Let's take a look at what is coming today. All right, so they are happy to confirm the release of our patch notes for today. Yay. All right, here we go. Uh, please note, as part of the patch release, we are updating some back-end multiplayer infrastructure. That's good. Um, the change may cause some player Xbox players to not be able to engage in multiplayer sessions for a period of 24 hours. Oh, man, that is so rough. I'm sorry, Xbox players. I don't know why Xbox players get the shaft here so much. Uh, please note that the patch is slightly delayed on the Epic Store. They're working with Epic to push it live ASAP. It's probably live by the time this is going since I got to this really late. But what we really care about is what are the changes. So let's take a look at the full patch notes. So they fixed an issue that could cause players to stutter when entering Drained Lake during the third enemy encounter in Scorched Lands Expedition. And I think we've all experienced that a million times. Fixed an issue that could cause the game to stutter when engaging crawlers in battle during expeditions. Uh, also happens on a daily basis. Fixed issue when would, uh, that would force matchmaking privacy settings to default to on. Which is good. And a private setting should now remain closed when set. It should help further reduce AFK matchmaking. Uh, add an AFK status for players on friend list, which is nice. Fix the bug that could cause client shots to sometimes deal no actual damage to enemies. That is absolutely brutal. Especially when you're on like a kill shot build and you're not getting your kill shots. That could be really bad. Further improve the visibility of Broodmother's Surge AoE skill limits, which is really, really important. And then here's one of the big headlines. Change the behavior of Devastator Impale so that the game will de detect impaled enemies as dead even before they disappear. Which is big as that took a lot of time and irritated people like crazy. The Devastator's Reflect Bullet skill will now protect from Seethen projectile attacks. Uh, we fixed a bug that could cause the Pyromancer's Phoenix Nesting Passive to restore 100 rather than 50% of health while multiplayer. I actually pick that talent? Okay. Fix the bug that could cause players to be teleported back into cover if they use thermal bomb shortly before exiting cover. People use cover? Really? Okay. Fix the bug that could prevent devastators from being able to consistently dodge if they had auto reflect mod on. Yeah, I had this all the time where you literally have the auto reflect on and then for the rest of the run, even when uh, the skills are not up, you cannot dodge. Oh boy, can you guys tell? My voice is going quick. Uh, all right, we're running out of time here. Fix the bug that could cause Terminator, not Terminator. Take the Mancer Plague, so set bonus to not proc consistently. All right, that's good for the people that use that. Fix the bug that could cause Plague Sour and Cannonball Legendary set to not retain their set bonus after transition. So if you're one of those people that uses the Cannonball set and complain consistently about your set bonus dropping, well, there you go. You're taken care of. All negative three of you. Fix the bug that caused certain ammo-related mods to retain their effects even after having been replaced, thereby leading to inconsistent gameplay. Issue would be previously resolved itself when returning to the lobby. Affected mods include Brain Eater, Clip of Almathea, Perpetual Mobile, Vampiric Mag, Toxic Light, and Reforging Bullets. Not sure what that really means. Interesting. I guess, would that be a nerf then? I, I don't know. Fix the bug that allowed the mod Unstoppable Force to be stacked of itself. I thought they fixed that a long time ago. Really? Wow. Yeah, that, uh, that's really, really bad for that to stack. Really bad. Fix the bug that could cause shards invested in sidearms, second primary weapons to cause inconsistent behavior on a primary weapon. All right. Again, for all those people picking that node, 
resolved an issue that prevented secondary characters picking a journal entries if they had already been collecting on a different character, and then random fixes and minor bug crashes. So, some things that have been long time coming, thank goodness. Now hopefully they can put all the resources into making new improvements. Let's hope for that. I'm gonna keep it as short as sweet as I can today, save my voice. Again, guys, sorry I couldn't do the stream today. I'm gonna hopefully try and be healthy enough for tomorrow. With that being said, remember to like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, drop your comments, let me know your thoughts on the current state of the game and the future. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.